iPhone 15 Pro versus Samsung Galaxy S23 speed test with one UI 6. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now, I had a lot of comments saying, why are you comparing a 60 hertz 15 to the S23? Why don't you bring it to the 15 Pro? And I thought about it and I'm like, that's a pretty good idea. You know, the 15 Pro probably stacks up closer in comparison when you consider it has eight gigs of RAM, just like the S23. That's their CPU, so this should be a lot closer. In addition, it does have the 120 Hertz, so I can't really talk about 60 Hertz. And so the S23 doesn't turn on faster than the iPhone 15 Pro. That was a win to the left. So in terms of the general performance, both of them are very smooth just due to that 120 Hertz. But before we get into the main speed test, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Well, smash it. Well, probably don't, you don't want to smash your finger, but you know, hit it because when you hit that like button, you do get more content pushed to you. But 120 hertz on both, they're both adaptive refreshes. Going into the control center's quick panels, into the actual app tray, app library, everything on both of these is pretty darn even. We're going to begin with calendar. And you can see animation faster on the right. I'm going to turn true tone off because I don't like that yellow look so let's go ahead and close that out and let's go into clock here you could see pretty similar i'm gonna go to a world clocks let's go to stopwatch timer pretty even there let's go into weather i think that might have been samsung samsung actually sped up their weather app you know it actually looks better too they now have this new aqi right here not that apple didn't already have air quality but i'm just saying that Samsung is definitely improving their weather app. It used to look much worse. Let's go into calculator. I think the animation faster for Samsung. Let's go into app store versus play store. That one's clearly faster on Samsung. We'll go into apps faster again on Samsung. Let's go into, oh, and I was checking the animations. Let's go into Instagram. I was checking the animations guys. And man, I am impressed with Samsung's updates here. Not that Apple didn't have great animations. Apple has great animations. They're like the gold standard. But I think the Samsung, let's take a look at this. I think the Samsung is like nearly identical now. Look at this. We'll do it again. We can go through a couple here. It looks like nearly the same, but it's also a little faster. So it has nearly the same smoothness and the speed. Let's go into a little bit more speed than Apple's. So it's looking good for the S24 series. That's faster on the right. And we're still waiting on the iPhone. We're not gonna give it any credit there. That was much slower. And you can see much slower over here. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see faster on the right once again. Also, there's this like thing when you look at the S23's display, this was loading up the Groupon, you know, initial screen. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm not saying it was faster. I'm just saying that it wasn't loading it the same. So let's see. See, Samsung was quicker there. Um, the the Galaxy has this very vibrant look to it. So if you like very vibrant displays, especially when you have it in vivid mode, you'll like this. Now, I think the iPhone loaded up Best Buy first. Let's go into products, faster on iPhone. But the iPhone has this very like natural look to it. That might've been the iPhone. Let me know, I didn't see that when I was talking. The iPhone might have a, it has a more natural look to it. So if you like that more balanced look, I still prefer the iPhone. Let's go into YouTube and you can see YouTube pretty much the same. I think it was faster on the right. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you can see Dead Trigger 2 is loading first there. That was on the iPhone. Let's hit play at the same time. And you could see iPhone does this a little quicker. You can see right here, just a little bit more contrast. Um, if I do go ahead and throw it in natural, you'll see a difference though. It'll be pretty similar. Let's go into subway surf and let's see if the iPhone could take the lead here only by a hair, but that that's a, a theme that might carry over into the benchmarks is the multi-core, the gaming. Let's get up out of there and let's go into temple run two. Let's see what Temple Run 2 can offer up here. Oh, I didn't update this one. Hold on, I'm gonna have to do a jump cut. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I actually tried to update it and it's just not available yet on this phone. So we're just gonna have to go with this here. They, you know, they're not on the same, but Samsung loads this first. They could be 
a little bit unfair, but it's not ready yet over there. Let's hit play. And you'll see now the iPhone's playing first, so we'll skip that tutorial. You'll see when you're in these games though, once you're in, both are about the same experience. You do have the dynamic island up here. You have the punch hole. I just ran off a cliff. Let's go into PUBG Mobile. And let's see what happens here on PUBG Mobile. And yeah, this one takes longer. Whoa, is Samsung gonna load this first? That would be pretty insane. Usually PUBG does not load first on Android devices, in my experience. Oh man, Samsung loaded this first. That is a good sign, a very good sign. If you bought a Galaxy S23 for Black Friday or even a Galaxy S23 FE, although the FE probably not as good as the S23, still a nice option. Let's go into Geekbench 6. The FE was actually on sale for $399. That was a pretty nice pickup. Um, you could see right here, and Geekbench 6, it's, it's just been slower on all the iPhone 15s. I don't know, they haven't updated yet or something. This was faster on the iPhone on the left. And we'll do cameras separately, but we'll just open them here. You kind of see the iPhone's faster. Usually the iPhone's a little faster. We'll do that again, three, two, go. But I'll open these again later. Overall, it looks like the iPhone 15 Pro definitely competed better against S23 than the regular 15. Much more smooth much more in line. These feel like nearly the same phones. This feels like the Apple version. This just feels like the Samsung version of the same exact phone. Um, I just think the 15 Pro has a little bit better camera and it feels a little bit heavier. So it gives it like slight more premium feel, but nothing much different other than that. So here we go with the RAM management. Now take a look at animations cause that's the key thing we're looking at here. They look so good on the iPhone 15 Pro. Mostly because of that ProMotion display. That Best Buy looks like a slight reload. Maybe not. It was in the area. It just was. But these nonlinear animations on both phones. Apple's had this for a while. But check this out. This is where I'm really impressed. That Samsung improves the speed. And improves the smooth factor of it. Now, does it look as smooth as the iPhone? That was reloading there, YouTube. I think it's just about there, but not 100%. It's very, very close now. Before, I it wasn't close. But now, getting some reloads there. But now it's pretty much there. What is going on with these reloads, though? It looks like I'm getting some reloads. But yeah, if you see I go through them, it's pretty close in terms of the smooth factor. On the animation although i was just not happy with a few of those reloads that was annoying um i would say the the apple device held them a little bit better here in the background but super close super super even here uh, much better than the 15 in terms of the smooth feel on the iphone 15 pro okay so the final geekbench score is in and 2889 oh my goodness look at that 7182 on that multi-core score that's what i'm talking about for the iPhone 15 Pro. We're still waiting on the Galaxy S23. We are way behind here. 19, and that that's expected. As long as it took, that's expected. It's not going to be much faster. You can see single core 1906, multi-core 4880, or 4980. So well over 2,000 points less. The 15 Pro easily smacks down the S23 in this test. Okay, so wildlife scores are in, and Samsung beats the 15 Pro. This is so weird. We have a winner here in the Samsung over a frame second, like one frame per second better. Score is better than 83%, 79. So maybe in gaming, the Samsung can sustain its performance better. I'm not sure what that's about, but <laughs> the iPhone won in Geekbench. So we have a split win here. One for the Samsung, one for the iPhone. Let's go into, actually, let me go ahead and close the camera out first. And this is what I talked about earlier when I told you I was going to cover the cameras again. Let's go ahead and pop them open. Three, two, go. You could see faster on the iPhone on the initial launch. Does it get better here? Three, two, go. Now it's about the same. So that initial launch, usually a little bit better. Three, two, go. And now you do have action button up here to go ahead and open camera if you want, or you can double click on the Samsung. So there's options on both. Wrapping it up here, which is the better pick? I think they're pretty close, but... 
I think iPhone's a little more premium, better resale value, faster updates. Samsung, a very good value alternative. It's a very good option if you want something very close, but you don't want to spend the price of an iPhone. The Samsung Galaxy S23 has been such a great phone. Can't wait for its update in the S24. Let me know which one you would pick. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button like we talked about earlier. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.